Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing a Ipsy Glam Bag Plus versus Boxy Charm. Now, uh, these are both on the same playing field when it comes to price. It is $25 a month and uh, I thought it'd be really fun. I haven't done Battle of the Boxes in quite a while, so I'm really excited to see what's in here. <laughs> I just got actually just got this one today and I got this one a couple days ago, so it has been killing me not to open it up and see what is inside. But let's go ahead and start with Ipsy. Alright, so right away I feel some products that are on the outside of the bag. Um oh wait, no, they're just falling out. <laughs> Okay, so this is what the bag is for the month of October. I really, really like it. I definitely will be keeping this one. On the back, it says Your Magic. I really like the way that it feels, so super happy with that. Um, so obviously, this month's theme is Your Magic. It says, with a pinch of shimmer and a wave of your mascara wand, this month, cast a spell on yourself. Whether it's nailing the perfect smoky eye or taking that big life leap, let your intuition guide your goals. Learn all about this month's theme at Ipsy, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, so that is that. Let's go ahead and bring this first product out. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay, so as you guys know, um, or if you don't, you are actually allowed to pick, it's either two or three different items in your bag, um, so you can get a little bit more customization. And this is definitely one of the picks of mine. I'm so excited. You guys know eyeshadow palettes are definitely my favorite. And I only have one palette from Violet Voss, so this made me so excited. This is the Creme Brulee from Violet Voss. I love the packaging on here, you guys. Like, it's so freaking pretty. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. It's really pretty. It looks just like the outer packaging, so that really makes me happy. And, ah, oh, they're so freaking pretty. Look at those shadows. Tell me those do not scream fall. Like, isn't that absolutely perfect? Now, I do have the Flamingo Violet Voss palette, and the shadows were pretty incredible, so I cannot wait to play with this. Uh, oh, they feel like butter. All right, so there's a couple swatches for you guys. And look how easy those go on. Wow. So pretty. Love it. So this definitely makes my bag already. Okay, what else is in here? I can't remember. What is this? The, this is an Araceli gel eye pencil. There's a, it's a two pack. Um, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to keep these. Oh, it's in the shades cinnamon and chocolate. Oh, I love brown eyeliners. So I guess one is a shimmer and one is a matte. Let's go ahead and do a swatches of these as well. Ooh, that's really pretty. Definitely can see the little bit of shimmer in it. And this one's more of like a darker, deep brown. So there are your swatches. Love it. Happy with these. Uh, just for the record, I really had to scrub those off. Like, they were not coming off with a makeup wipe. So, uh, those might be waterproof. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else we got in here? Uh, this is also from Violet Voss. This is their lip gloss. And... Oops. I think this was also a choice... Oh, I thought maybe it was a little bit darker. Definitely more like a pale pink. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. It's in the shade Adore. I would hate to open it and try and use it and not like it. So I might just put this in a giveaway. We shall see. I'm not sure. Two more items. So, ooh, the packaging on this, you guys is so freaking good. So this is Lovecraft Beauty. This is also an eyeshadow palette and look at the packaging on that. 
Isn't that pretty? I love holographic. I, <sighs> oh my gosh, please tell me. Yes, I love it. Okay, so the box comes off and it looks just like that on the actual palette. So that makes me happy. And then on the back, everything's holographic, but on the back you have the, uh, the shadows itself. And ooh, this is definitely like a smoky eye palette. So these are the shades right here. That is so pretty. All right, we have to swatch the blue and the purple. That feels really, really nice. Is that a purple? Yeah, it's definitely a purple. All right, let's swatch this black. And that feels so creamy. Let's go ahead and swatch the white. I don't have too many palettes with a white shadow. Oof. That's a little scary. Look at the white on my finger. It's definitely, I don't know. We'll see how it swatches. So that's definitely like a black blue. It's really, really pretty. We got the purple, that swatched really nice. The black, mm, more like a gray. I don't think that's really like a black shade. Maybe it's buildable. Mm. And the white. Don't think that's going to be, well, I might be able to make it work. Still, I mean, the black doesn't have to be like solid black going in because sometimes that can be really hard to work with. So as long as it's buildable, then I really don't mind. Definitely seems to be buildable. So, <sighs> I like that. Now, I did not know I was getting this eyeshadow palette. I'm still extremely happy with the Violet Voss. Like, that's my jam. But this is really pretty. The colors are really nice. So. I will be happy to play in that. Okay, so one of the last items we have is the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. Tarte is definitely a brand I really, really love. So this is super exciting. It says it absorbs, oils, and mattifies, blurs, bakes, and sets, mess-free sifter formulated with vitamin C for brightening. Okay, let's see the inside. So this is how it comes. Typical, like, that definitely is like a typical tart uh, packaging. And then it has a little puff. I love that. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, <laughs> so soft. Okay, so that's actually really interesting. I do not want to uh, completely turn this over because I don't want to make a mess but it does have like a little sifter inside so you could close this. Yeah. <gasps> no, it's not supposed to turn. <laughs> but anyways, you can close this and kind of get the powder on top of the sifter, but I still think that's gonna be messy. Hmm. I don't know, I'll have to try it. Hopefully it doesn't give me flashback. So that'll be really interesting. Have you guys even tried this powder? Is this something new? I don't even know. I would have to look that up. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you actually tried this powder. Okay, so that is it for Ipsy. Let's go ahead into Boxy Charm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so the first item I see is from Murad. This is an exfoliating cleanser. Uh, I actually really like Murad products um, and I can always use a new full exfoliating cleanser. So that's really exciting. Um, it's a huge bottle, huge. So it'll take me a little while to get through this. So I do like that. The next item is from Grown Alchemist. This is a matte balancing moisturizer. Okay, definitely. <laughs> it's in one of those tubes that I really kind of don't like. So, um, it says it has acai berry and 
Brago? I'm not really sure, but it is cruelty free and vegan. So, uh, I think I'm gonna put this in a giveaway. This is not really my cup of tea, uh, but it might be for somebody else. So, I'm gonna set that aside. The next item we have is from Hip Dot, and I can see right away that it's two sponges, and that makes me happy because I can always use more sponges. So, they're so cute and they're so soft. Okay, so we have like a regular, like a beauty blender size, and then we have a little itty bitty tiny um, sponge as well, probably good for the under eye. Uh, they're really soft, so very happy to have these. I love my sponges. I have a whole bunch. Yeah. Another item we have is from Oh, <laughs> okay, it's Sol de Janeiro. I love that brand, so this is exciting. This is the Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butter. Ah, oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> I love lip balms, and Sol de Janeiro has like my favorite, uh, the Bum Bum Cream. Oh, it smells like heaven. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. Um, I kind of wish they would have went with a different packaging because it looks like something that I'm not going to say on my channel, but if you're an adult, you definitely know what I'm talking about. So, okay. So back to Pretty Vulgar. I love the packaging on this. This is nesting bee face. We all know what that means. So there it is. Super, super cute. And, ooh, it's a face palette, you guys. I thought it was an eyeshadow palette. I don't know why I thought it was an eyeshadow palette. But it says, definition nesting bee face. When you've had resting bee face since birth. <laughs> Post a side-by-side -side comparison pic of your young versus current resting bee face using hashtag nesting B phase. Okay, so these are the shades right here. They are super, super pretty. Feel a little dry. I really like that hush blush color. So these are the first four colors since they would be more suitable for my skin tone. Highlighter is kind of subtle. Okay, that is a very, very, very pretty blush color. Um, that actually might be too light of a bronzer. And definitely more on like the oranges, orange shot side. Oh. Okay, keep going. And that pink highlighter, oof, I would not use that as a highlighter on my face. That's more of an eyeshadow. Okay, well, let me go ahead and swatch the other two because I want to see what the shadows, uh, how deep the shadows look on my skin tone. Obviously, I think the, they're too dark, but I still want to see what they look like. All right, so there's the two. I think uh, the shimmer one would actually be a pretty uh, eyeshadow. Yeah, that'd be a pretty eyeshadow. And then, it falls orange, so I wouldn't be able to use that. Uh, if I did use either one of the bronzers, I would definitely go obviously with the lighter shade, but that's still not a shade I would hope for. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think this palette could have been a lot better <laughs> uh, as far as shades go. I think they definitely kind of missed the mark on here. Um, the only two that I really like from this palette are actually 
this uh, Glimmers of BS and the Hush Blush, which actually was my favorite out of the palette. Uh, but the Son of a Bee, the Mirror Mirror, Sun Kissed, Snitch, and Ego, um, I'm not really a fan of. So, yeah. Now looking back over Ipsy versus BoxyCharm, I definitely have to say that Ipsy won. Um, not only do I love the bag, I love every single product. So we have the setting powder, the two eyeshadow palettes, the eyeliners, and of course the Violet Gloss Lip Gloss, which is probably better than the Sol de Janeiro that uh, came in my boxy charm. So this is definitely the winner. And I love that they did a Halloween theme bag, so that makes me happy as well. And I don't know, boxy charm is just kind of eh. I I like the sponge. <laughs> You know, it is what it is. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I have another Halloween video coming your way. Hopefully it will be up on Saturday and I will see you guys next time. Bye.